Hi everybody, Dave Novak, Prevention Pest Control YouTube. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are coping with COVID-19. It's uh, almost July here in Northeast Ohio, and I grabbed a mic just to get a quick video. Today's subject is door knocking. And what I wanna to talk to you about is a few companies that are going door to door selling pest control. Now this has been going on in Cuyahoga Falls, specifically for at least eight, nine years. Now I want you to know my experience with it. I was actually standing in front of this truck, putting water in it with this uniform on, and I had a guy show up and try to pitch me to buy pest control. And at first I actually laughed, I thought it was a goof, and then he kept pitching, so he was serious. Now, in Cuyahoga Falls, you need to have a solicitor's badge, a permit from the city. He did not have that badge. Um, this year, 2020, they do have the badge because I have found that out. But I get calls and emails every week, about a dozen people asking me about this. So I thought we'd shed some light on this. Um, like I said, there's a couple companies that are doing it. Most of the people that you see, young, clean cut guys on segways going door to door, they got an iPad and they seem to know everybody in your neighborhood. Um, they're basically a company out of Utah that is hired to go door-to-door -door sales, okay? Got nothing wrong with that, okay? But let me ask you a question. I don't know about you guys, let's be real for a second. My phone goes off 20 times a day with robocalls. Drives me nuts. Then what happens, you check your email. How many emails do you guys get a day where you don't want to even open them? So now you get home from a long day's work, you sit on the couch, somebody knocks on the door. It's somebody trying to sell you pest control. Now, no offense, this is what I do for a living. This is my career. The last thing I want to do is talk to somebody about pest control at 6.30 at night, okay? I, like I'm sure you, that's not what you want either, okay? Let me tell you something. If you knock on my door to try to sell me something, you better have Girl Scout cookies, or you better have chocolate bars. And I'm telling you, Mike holding the camera is nodding his head. So let me give you a tip. If you're selling either one of those, come to my house, I'll buy a bunch, I'll give you Mike's address, <laughs> and between the two of you, we'll clean you out. But seriously, it's just in today's age of Facebook ads, Instagram, Google, Nextdoor, there's so many ways to market. Now, God bless you. If you own a company and that's what you want to market, go ahead and do that. I just think that you, you actually leave a bad taste in people's mouth by harassing them all the time. And what I mean by harassing, I took another phone call earlier today from somebody who said the same guy show up to the house three days in a row trying to pester her to buy the service. This year it's a two year contract with a 200 some dollar initial charge. The third day he was there, he offered to do it for free. Now folks, I'm gonna tell you right now, anybody that shows up to your house in a service vehicle, you cannot do a service for free. Nothing is free. So there's a back load on all of that stuff, okay? But the real reason I wanted to give you guys uh, this quick video on this is, I have a customer who's 89 years old. She's been with me the last three years. She calls all the time, and most of the time it's a false alarm, okay? She called me last fall in tears and said, could you stop over my house? I ran over to her house. She had a guy on a Segway trying to sell her a contract and what she said what he said to her was I'm treating everybody on your cul-de-sac if you don't buy this service all the bugs in the neighborhood are going to come to your house and she was in tears and I looked at her and I said Cheryl that's not the case most companies nowadays are using materials that are non-repellents meaning the bugs don't even know that they're getting on them so it's not gonna push them from house to house like Killmaster and Chloridane was back 20, 30 years ago. So I got a real problem when you're starting to prey on elderly and things like that. So let's keep an eye out on your neighbors because the other thing they do is, the first thing they do is they say, well, we're doing Mr. Jones and this and that. If you start pressing them, most of those people don't even live on your block, okay? So, and I don't know about you guys, but with COVID-19 going on, what are we doing knocking on doors for people? Just my high horse, I, I know. Everybody can do what they want. It just I just think at this time of where we're at, it's just not a good move. Nobody wants to be bothered. Nobody wants to get contact with people if they don't have to. So having said that, I just wanted to give you a little brief 
of because everybody keeps calling me on it so I figured let's just do a quick YouTube video and get the word out so that's review you can call me anytime check our YouTube channel out check our Facebook page out prevention pest control if you're selling candy bars or cookies come to our house I'll send you to Mike's we'll clean you out and do whatever you got to do we're getting into July 2020 and uh, be safe out there anything we can do for you give us a call and hopefully we will be talking with you soon take care